I understand uh, most companies are beginning to look at, or I've already looked at, cyber risk insurance for protection. When, uh, at what point do, do companies need to be thinking about this and kind of uh, maybe possibly consider buying it? Yeah, look, you can't get away from insurance, right? It's, uh, it's part and parcel of our lives. And cyber risk insurance is a relatively new concept. I'll admit that I've talked to some cyber risk insurance companies and they are sort of, uh, some have gotten, have a few years of uh, experience under their belt, some are getting into it. Uh, there are a few providers. Uh, I've spoken, like I said, I've spoken to some and they're refining the policies based on the risk they assess the businesses. So they provide you coverage, they want to know how well prepared you are, what mitigations you've got in place, or how well are you positioned with governance to respond to crises, as well as what is the sensitivity of the data you are sort of managing to protect. Uh, so those insurance companies, they want to know what risk are they signing up for. Mm -hmm. But conversely, if you're a business signing up for these, for these providers, you need to have your selection based on the carrier track record and are they new to this business or they've got experience in this business and don't accept policies with unreasonable exclusions. You might see some unreasonable exclusions say, yeah, we'll cover you, but we exclude all nation uh, threat attacks and uh, against mm -hmm. you. That's not very realistic. So exclusions like that should be realistic, not uh, unrealistic because that's the reason you're buying cyber insurance, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and they should also offer third party Litigation protection, for example, if PII, the uh, personally identifying information is leaked or breached, they should offer against uh, legal judgments, et cetera. So that's coverage from that. And above all, make sure first party uh, losses which are suffered in any breach are covered so that the business interruption costs, you know, extra, uh, you know, uh, aspects which have to be protected against uh, are covered. So there's some aspects, first party, you know, third party, as well as making sure the right uh, exclusions on, uh, are in place as well as not in place as the case might be are very important to consider as you consider cyber insurance. That's great advice. I'm aware of some companies or I've read of some companies have had some real challenges in trying to collect on some of their claims and some of these policies aren't real um, uh, clear in terms of what's covered or what's excluded. So it's very good to have some professional advice around that. That's an important aspect that uh, boards and senior leaders need to think about. No question about it.